Hello, and welcome back to Cow Chop. Live from the Cow Chop Test Kitchen in Los Angeles, California. Woo! We have a live audience here. What's going on, everybody? Wave to everyone, yes. Hi. These two creative powerhouses will be going head to head in a culinary competition to create an amazing dessert from this spread of materials you see laid out before you. But there's one catch. A certain ingredient must be implemented in the dessert you come up with. Are you ready for the reveal of today's mystery item? I already know. I fucking smell it. You can smell it. It's right over here. Yes, that's right. It's crab. And boy, are they stinky. Ooh. Yeah, these are, these are crabs. Those, these those are, are real, real crabs. So today, you guys are uh, mm. battling to create the, a dessert worthy of Red Lobster's Crab Fest. This is fictional, correct? Uh, no, no, no. A, a special guest will be arriving at the end of today's episode to make this a reality. Crab Fest's first ever dessert. Can you put the crabs, like, out of here? What, what is your main problem with crabs, I'm would you allergic. say? James is allergic to crabs. Uh, still agreed to do this episode. You picked the one ingredient, and you didn't let me get out of this. No one, no one had a gun to your head. You'll be judged at the end on style, taste, and use of the item. I'm gonna put Mr. Krabs right here on the edge of the table. Oh, Don't let him fall on the floor. It's not a glass on my bowl. table. Put it on his table. Okay. Well, look. If you guys, you, you guys can all. E Three, two, one. Good luck. I feel sick. Already, okay. I haven't even started. Right. Well, I we have an oven. I didn't realize that. How the fuck do you not realize we have an oven? It's been sitting there since day one. <sighs> oh my god. Well, you got whisks here. Nothing to. Oh my god. I fuck. I just. <sighs> fuck. Yeah, get him away. No! You're such this, an asshole. Dude. It's like I have a legitimate aller allergic. <laughs> you have a. You have an allergic. When I fucking break out the hives and literally die on the channel, I hope everybody's happy, including both of you. What's your experience with baking, James? Don't talk to me. You're my competition. Okay, well, this video's not gonna have commentary. Let's just fast forward to when the dishes are done. James, what's your experience with baking? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Brett. Fuck None. Bread? Other than some DiGiorno pizzas. Did Check you get that up. bread at all? Bread? bread? No, like, a, I didn't, like bread? No, I didn't buy bread. You didn't tell me what bread. Hot damn! I didn't know. I didn't know I needed bread until now. What? A oh. Fucking... So. Woo! Look at that! I'm actually cooking, mom. Oh, there My we go. My position is trying to find some ingredients. What? Oh, I'm only basing a little bit off of a prior. Um, <clears throat> uh, Recipe, and then we're gonna change it a little bit. Don't reveal it. Don't fucking record my phone. Excuse me? How fucking ignorant can you be? Woo, ooh la la! That's what they say in uh, Italy. Like, ooh la la! You know? Are you throwing fucking apple? You wanna throw a crab at you? If you want me to die, I mean, go Yeah, I do. Okay, well then, I mean, it'll be a funny joke. I, I don't, I'll go down fighting. <laughs> I swear to God, if I smell like crab all night, you will... Shut up. This will come back tenfold. Okay, here we go. And we've reached the halfway marker with neither contestant having touched the crab except as an antagoni antagonistic? antagonistic measure. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's on there. Oh man, there's some shells in it. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, Gordon Ramsay uh, would not be happy with what's happening here. But dude, Gordon Ramsay, it does not watch this channel, so. Brett, I don't know what to do with this fucking cut in half crab on my table. I'm a vegetarian. What do you want me to say? How, what is good meat? What is bad meat? What's meat? Dude? Wait, can I use the cl crab claw to extract the crab meat? Ah, uh, is that meat? We're gonna repurpose our original thing here. Um, okay. I've just demolished everything that there is oh. on this crab. I'm just gonna. Uh, All right. How's that? 
how's your stuff going? Yeah, you know, um, not so good. Why? How's yours? Because I'm just asking. I'm just. How's yours? Mine is baking. Honestly, I don't know what's in there. Like, it might come out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Don't fucking ask me about my project again. What the fuck? There's no sabotaging. What the fuck, dude? You sabotaged Somebody my will eat this now. You sabotaged my drink and that was part of the experience. That's why I hate cooking, dude. There's so much waiting. Just waiting for food. It's like no matter if you order, you wait. If you cook, you wait. There's no Insta food. You know? Unless you have leftovers. Hmm. I wish there was a thing where you could just buy leftovers. Because that's just instant. I don't seem right at it. Oh my god, dude. What's that red thing? There was a red. Is that cherries? It's an apple. <laughs> All right. How long is it going to take to bake it? 40 minutes. Competition was supposed to be like 30. Yeah, well, I don't make the rules. Smells like pickles. If you tuned in to watch an actual cooking competition, you're in for a surprise, because that's not what's going on right now. Uh, however, we, we can do a blender review while we're waiting for the fucking Neanderthal to figure out how to use an oven. The extended timer going off with uh, both contestants uh, completely ignoring Start time. their out of extra time that they requested. Um. Well, I guess we'll just keep watching. Oh my god. He just. <laughs> I didn't need that, dude. I didn't need that. He was using this. Fell. Wow, what a crazy ride it's been for our contestants. I think now it's time to bring out our special judge for this week's competition. Let me go get him. Live from his summer home in the Hamptons, I'm proud to introduce Roland DeMonte, heir to the Red Lobster fortune. Here to personally choose a dessert for Red Lobster's Crab Fest, the first ever. Mr. DeMonte, it's a pleasure. Welcome. Dude, that's Take bullshit. That's just fucking Jacob in a wig. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Roland DeMonte. You literally, you literally, said, you literally said it was going to be a guest, and all you did was put Jacob in a wig. First up, <laughs> YouTube.com slash ImmortalHD Films. <laughs> Step right up. Uh, I'd like to start you off with... I gave you all. Do I need some? I call it crab. Uh, I don't see very. Hold on a second. Hold on before you dive into it. What are? Oh yeah, custards, radical, and booyah. That's my name for it. There's a nice layer of pie crust. Mm -hmm. I whipped up a, a, a sort of a custard souffle. Use a little bit of, uh, I guess, fruit dressing, some whipped cream, but there definitely is a major underlying taste of crab. Thank you. Is there a joke? Mm. This just, I don't taste any crab. I may have, I, I don't, I, I don't know which, there might, there's definitely crab meat in it, and there's definitely other parts of a crab as well. I'll be honest with you, I'm not tasting much crab. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of crab, really, to begin with. It is a, a small hint of crab, mm -hmm. but, you know, actually as a dish, it's not that bad. This is actually a genuinely enjoyable dish. Thank you so much, Mr. Bone, Bone, uh, Robert. Here, take some cash. I need this, because, uh, 
The valet is like really expensive here. We have valet in the offices. I can't park my car anymore. Thank you so much, Mr. Demacio. Okay, go away. I'd like to remind our second competitor that we don't have all fucking night. And if he'd like to finish plating his dish, maybe some of us can go home before it's midnight. Here we go. Mr. DeMonte, now presenting to you, James Fatstacks Wilson. Well, Mr. DeMonte, um, I have here for you today uh, crab cheesecake with uh, one apple, um, a little bit of chocolate mousse inside. Uh, we have a topping, a whip, mixed with the tartar sauce, and just a little bit of sprinkles. I sense euphoria. <laughs> Please get some of the whip. What's in the whip? Uh, it's a uh, whip. <laughs> it's, it's cool whip with uh, tartar sauce blend and uh, a mix of tartar sauce uh, blend. Tiny sprinkles. Oh, uh, oh. That was not good. Uh, that was hard. That was hard. Oh boy. There was something under there. Thought I chipped my tooth. Oh. You bitch. Excuse me, sir? I said. Nice dish. And with that, both contestants have put their livelihood before the judge's table. We'll give Mr. DeMonte a moment to weigh in. If both contenders would like to take a seat on the waiting bench, we'll see who our judge prefers. I really need this job. I didn't know there was a job, like, involved. I need this job. What do you think the, like, his face was when he was like, like when he was doing this, and then like, he was like kind of spitting up. I think like, it was euphoria. I thought he was like really enjoying it, and he was kind of savoring it in the moment. And like he was kind of struggling to, to get it down because he wanted to keep it in his mouth longer for the taste, I think. It's time! Let's come out before the judges and get his final verdict. What kind of like cooking? fucking show is this, dude? This is, like, why is there, why, why is the, the host on meth? I'd like to congratulate both of you, you know? You pulled together a dish in the, you know, the time frame that I understand that you had. Thank um, you, Chef. And I did swallow both, you know, perhaps easier on one end, but, oh, that was not good. I'm sorry, James but I'm gonna have to hand it to Alex. His dish will be in, in our restaurants as soon as possible. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you so much. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Mr. DeMonte has rendered his verdict in it. YouTube.com slash Films is the first ever winner here in the Couch Hop Test Kitchen. His dessert will be going to the first ever Crab Fest dessert menu. Ooh. As he is showered in 20s, he can finally pay back the valet that parked his car this morning in the parking lot. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm in so much debt. Like, real serious debt. Thank you, sir. James. Oh, thank God. Walking off. Bowed but unbroken. <sighs> disappointed. The emotions on his face. Oh. But knows that there will always be a next time. Here in the Cow Chop Test Kitchen. Ah, uh, dude. So on it, behalf of Red Lobster, Mr. DeMonte, and Vincero Watches, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This is not a show. It's just a video. It's like I can't leave because it's a uh, rush hour right now. There's a lot of traffic.
Wow, wasn't that an interesting video? Thank you for watching it. If you enjoyed it, you can click another video here or go down to the subscribe button to be constantly notifi notifi notified when we upload a new video. Just kidding, you need to hit the notification bell. In the description, you can check the Patreon, Twitter, Reddit, all of the social medias, and as well as merchandise, which helps us continue to make such high-budget high productions such as these. Thank you for watching.